What's up, Daffers? It's Nick, the ASMR nerd. And would you look at this? We are back for another episode of Thief Gold. Now, uh, this might be a, a shorter episode because the last time I played, uh, I was getting near the end of the Return to the Cathedral level. And there's a couple things left for us to do. I don't think all that long, but I could be wrong. <laughs> there are lots of zombies and amarons and things still wandering around at the level, so it might take longer than I think, but anyway, all right, uh, you guys know the drill by now. Let's uh, jump on in and play some more Thief. Okay, so uh, this is the return to level as I mentioned as a very brief refresher just in case you are coming back to this after oh I don't know three to four months of break which is how long it's been since I last recorded one of these uh, what we're doing here is we are recovering the eye the eye which I'll just go to right here in my where is it there uh, the eye we were hired by a fellow named Constant Constantine wanted us to recover the eye, which was um, guarded, uh, sealed up within a haunted cathedral. And so, yeah, we went on a whole big long adventure across a bunch of different levels to uh, recover the pieces of the keys we needed to get into the cathedral. We got into the cathedral, we stole the eye, but now to escape the haunted areas around the cathedral, uh, we have had to help a ghostly figure, one brother, Amiris. Brother Amiris is his name. He is a ghost of a former brother here at the Abbey. And um, he had a, a bunch of tasks for us to complete before he will help us get out of here. But he will help us escape. That's, that's what he says anyway. <laughs> So, uh, this place has been a nightmare. It's been chock-a-block full of zombies and hammer haunts and other terrible undead creatures. And it's been a challenging couple of levels. Uh, maybe two of the most, um, terrifying levels in the game, actually. But, this is part three of Return to the Cathedral, and we are coming up on the end. We have two more tasks, I think complete for Brother Miras, uh, and both of them involve moving bodies. Uh oh, crap, I didn't realize the zombies came from that direction. Dang it. Ah, uh, he got... <laughs> he has interrupted. Okay, you know what, let's just go. tasks involve recovering bodies, uh, friends of Brother Muris. See, I didn't think the zombie could open this door, but apparently they can. Uh, so the two friends of Brother Muris, their bodies are back in the main portion of the cathedral, which is highly unfortunate. Okay, we can't jump up there. We're gonna have to go this way. So, we have to get back into the Incredibly Haunted Cathedral, which involves going through this incredibly haunted building and dealing with a bunch of zombies. Oy. Oy. Relaxing right off the bat, huh? I think we can just cut through here and go out this door now. Yeah, looks like... Oh crap, another zombie. Oh, two more zombies. If I hide here, maybe, maybe they won't see me. So the first body we have to recover belongs to one brother Renault. And brother Renault. Fine, let's just go in. This could be really bad. Depending on where the hammer haunts are. We're just coming in. We're coming in, we're coming in full throttle. Oh crap, that's definitely not what we wanted. Oh, this is all kinds of bad. 
all kinds of bad. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Oh wait, no, we want to go down, not up, down. Because um, Brother Renault is in the cellar. Oh crap. God, there's a lot of zombies around. This is going to be a lot trickier once we're carrying a body because uh, we're going to have to... We're going to have to, I think, put the body down in order to like open doors and stuff. And we'll probably move slower. Oh god, there's a... This level is... Or this episode, this... I'm so sorry, guys. It's already starting off crazy. It's only gonna get crazier, probably. Okay, here we go. I believe this is our poor brother, Reno. Let's pick him up. Indeed, it is. Okay, so... Yeah, we move slower with the body, and... Oh, yeah, we totally gotta put him down just to open the doors. So, we have to bring brother Reno's body back to the graveyard where Brother Muris's ghost is hanging out. That's right by where we started uh, this episode. We are right outside that graveyard, which incidentally is also swarming with zombies. Um, and uh, yeah, somehow we have to do that without getting caught and, and mauled by zombies. <sighs> are you guys ready for this? Let's save. Quick save. F11. <laughs> I see. I know by now. Finally. It only took years. So we're just gonna have to probably save scum this a little bit. Um, the good news is, down here, it's very dark. And so, if we time things right... We might be able to murder that thing by hitting it with the sword, actually. But you know what? It, I think... I think we can just go... Okay. Good. That's good. No zombies, no amarons. Let's, uh, let's save. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of saves going on here, you guys. Okay, I hear... Nasty guys upstairs. Um, okay, sounds like... Okay. All is quiet for the moment. Let's quick save. Getting back is actually going to be easier uh, than... Oh crap, I hear. I hear. Oh, wow, that's not good at all. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's see. What what options do we have available to us here? Sorry to just drop Brother Beerus and run, but... Um, we have got... Uh, I think we've got some holy water. Okay, here's another idea. Maybe 
instead of going out on the ground level there. Uh, if we go up, and then I can, like, chuck Brother Miris' body down from the balcony up there, and then follow him down, and that way we have a little more... No, it probably isn't going to help, but you know what? Let's see what happens. Is there a guy that patrols from up the stairs? Crap. Oh no, and zombies too. Okay, that was an awful idea. Never mind then. Oh boy. Okay, no, we've got, um, there's some, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, guys. I think what I have to do, let's drop Miris. Let's just go back into the cellar here. Let's leave him here. It's inevitable. I've got to do some clearing here. Uh, let's clear out some space so that we have a little more room to work. Um, because, okay, so the zombies can be temporarily temporarily incapacitated using the sword. The hammer haunts. If I manage to sneak behind them, can in fact be um, destroyed using this sword. And I think this hammer haunt is going to come down and go through that door. He did. So if I just sneak out behind him, Yeah, that 
that's uh, that's not gonna work at all. We gotta do better than that. And there's an oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, guys, what do we do? I think we're just gonna have to keep going until we just time it right, I think, because, yeah, we just, I don't know guys and I don't really know what their patrol patterns are and we don't have a lot of room to work here like we have to go through that door it's the only way I hear a zombie okay there he goes well, maybe now's the time to grab Muris, or grab Renault and go. Probably not, but, you know, we can try. Mm, okay. <laughs> so that sounds like the hammer on going up the stairs. Yep, he's above us right now. It's a zombie. Okay, he came down the stairs. Oh, but there's another one about to go up, and I think he just saw us. <laughs> this is awful. This is so bad. Gosh, they're freaking everywhere. Okay, let's try this now. Wow, that was, nope, that was really the wrong choice, wasn't it? Um, how many, why did these guys take so many holy water arrows, huh? Really, five of them? Oh, six of them. That's not a good way to deal with those guys at all. Not at all, not at all. I'm pretty sure those guys we can just chop with our swords. Maybe it's time to try and get choppy choppy with some of those haunted things. Missed. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Back down, back down. Okay. This is, uh, this is gonna have to be systematic, you guys. Systematic. Slow and 
his daddy does it. It sounds like they're they're searching for us one level up, I think. Which actually might be the ideal time to try and get out of here, but swarming with zombies. Yeah, now we gotta deal with that. So let's, uh... Uh, hopefully you could hear that there. I'm not sure if you could, but 
Ah, uh, that's so funny. A zombie fell into Brother Renault's grave. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, okay. Brother Renault said, In the winter tunnel beneath the cloister, there is a mural. We have to look in the top right corner of said mural for a secret button, and then we will find something important. Maybe valuable. I'm not sure. The tunnels beneath the cloister. Okay. Um, cloister gate. I mean, this whole area is the cloister, is it not? But there, we do know there are tunnels underneath, and I do seem to recall we did find a mural down there, didn't we? So the question is, how do we get down there? And I think, I think there is a, a lift in St. Denner's that will take us down there. I think there's also a lift right down here. That might be a little less zombieful. Not sure. Leave those losers behind. Okay. Let's just go this way. The tunnels actually ought to be a little more chill. Fewer zombies down there. there because those zombies were puking all over us and that was gross but we have quite a few health potions so we'll just uh, slurp another one of those down and uh, get some health back gosh this is the slowest lift isn't it So I think, I'm pretty sure we've, yeah, I think we've seen a mural down here. Oh, this guy might get up if we walk past him. Guess not. Ah, uh, this must be it, right? Secret button, top right. I think, pretty sure that's what he said. Although I was a little bit busy dodging zombies, you know, so. I'm not seeing any secret buttons, so. zombies up there, but that's not in tunnels anymore. These are the only tunnels that I can think of. And then there's still the matter of the other body. I kind of thought Brother Miris was going to talk to us and tell us to go get it, but I don't think he did. Or maybe he did and we were just too busy running from zombies. I don't know. Through where I've gone and looked it up yet. <laughs> I kind of don't want 
to start. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wow, that's very sneaky. Okay, let's try that. Uh, gotta jump up and you guys and what do we get for our troubles holy water that's well worth it probably we get some moss arrows good we get a mine I forgot about mines actually we got some water arrows oh thank goodness okay and uh, I think that's everything well, no ancient relics or anything, but um, some big old hammers there. But you know what? Uh, we got some zombie fighting weapons, so that's that's something, right? Uh, Brother Renault, you're a real one. Thanks, bro. Just want to make sure we're not missing anything else in here. Okay. 
go. Oh god, there's a zombie right there. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. I went to open the door at the same time the zombie went to open the door. And so I actually closed the door on the zombie. Oh, buddy. No, no, no. This guy's gonna come open this door just like he did last time. And force us out of our hidey hole. Now we're gonna run into all these jerks over here. There he is. What? An asshole. Oh, he's gonna burp on us. Okay. Wow, somehow. Somehow that kind of worked. Okay, let's quick save. <laughs> we took a little bit of damage from the zombie barf, but it could be worse. Okay, remember I said we had to walk through the rafters. Yeah, that's this. Because we have to get over there. Pretty sure it's that room. Or actually it might be the one that's on this current level that we're on. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's up here on the top floor. 
but the good news is I don't think there's going to be any baddies up here. So now that we're up in the rafters, we are safe-ish. <sighs> but we still have to get that body out of here. I feel like I should really be making use of all these water arrows and holy water they've given me now. But it's kind of hard to use them well, you know. Is that big bell? Love that window, it's so pretty. Yeah, it's kind of hard to use the holy water and arrows effectively. And there he is. Okay, good. Brother Martello. That's funny, you know, I don't think Brother Miras mentioned Brother Martello, but I'm pretty sure this is what we have to do. I'm just really hoping Miras isn't bugged or something. I remember the first time we found this guy here a couple episodes back, I was confused as to why he was here. I had forgotten that there's this whole thing about taking the bodies back. But, uh... Here we are. All right. So, now I think the easiest way to do this is just gonna be to chuck him down. Just yeet his body down and follow him down. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, let's, let's do this. So this is where we, where we got the eye from, you might recall, from this vantage point right here. The eye was sitting atop of this Amorite altar, and that's where we snagged it. And now we're going to take the same route with uh, Brother Martello here, I believe. They've seen me. That's too bad. Oh, he's gonna cast it. Skull. Okay, that's that's never gonna work. Okay, let's let's quick load. Um, we gotta try and do it in a way that they're not gonna see. Which is uh, oh, pardon me, I'm getting sleepy. Um, which is a little tricky. serious. 
face. Here lies Brother Martello. There he is. Uh, okay. Maybe Miras. Maybe we gotta go talk to Miras. This is an easier way to navigate around here. See, there's the ghost of Brother Miras still. I feel like he was supposed to do something. And like appear over there. But like the zombies are maybe... Maybe somehow the zombie in Brother... Uh, what's his face? Is or Brother Renault's grave? I wonder if that's somehow causing problems. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Well, crap. Okay, what do our objectives say? Aid the ghost of Brother Miris. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. I feel like we've done that. Oh, boy. Okay, let's... Well... Let's... Just go see if we can talk to Miris now. Now I must oh, there ask we go. for one last thing. These haunts who inhabit the bodies of my brethren, they must all be killed. Sorry, what? What did he say? These haunts that inhabit the brothers of my brethren, or the bodies, oh there he is. They must all be killed. So we might actually have to go kill some hammer haunts. Kill all of the hammer haunts and return here for thy reward. Okay. What a jerk. Holy crap, you guys. Okay, so he recognized that we did recover Brother Martello. So, uh, that's great, actually. But, he has now asked us to go kill all the hammer haunts. Um, now I think Technically, the hammer hunts are just the ones that, um, that have, like, the skulls for faces. So, um, the really fast, scary ones, basically, not the ones that shoot the skulls, I, I think. Whew, boy, oh boy, oh boy. I remember when I said I thought this was going to be a short episode, and we might get two episodes this time. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> now we have killed quite a few hammer haunts already, actually. Uh, God, that noise is disgusting. <laughs> the, like, vomit noise they make. We've actually killed quite a few hammer haunts, so I'm hoping this is gonna be relatively, if not easy, like at least... You know, this zombie's a real problem. This jerk right here. Let's see if we can... If we can... Uh, we can chop him. We could just use an entire... An entire, uh... Oh gosh, that's not good. I was gonna say we could just waste a, uh... isn't the 
these guys. The problem is that that one jerk out here in the courtyard who every time we come out this door, which is the only way to do this, every time we come out this door he sees us. There he is. What a jerk. Maybe it's worth just... Are you serious? You and your stupid vomit. Jerk. See, the problem then is I can't take my time at this store. Because this guy is being an issue, a problem. And it is only the one zombie, isn't it? You know, I'm really tempted to just pop a holy water and just go Rambo on his ass. Um, I guess if I did it over by the door, I could maybe also get a bunch of other zombies that are inside. Yeah. us now. Maybe we've led him far enough away. Okay, I'm gonna hope that this is all right. To be working from here. So, hammer haunts. Right. Right, 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 right. Hammer haunts. Oh, well, I think that's gonna be one. I'm above. Okay, this actually might be an okay place to, to hang out. Oh, okay. Well, that actually worked better than it at any rate, too. Um, put them down here in the pile of other hammer hunts. Um, I don't remember how many more there are. I wish there was some kind of, uh, like, counter that would track. <laughs> this whole level is, like, it, none of the objectives are, are really marked or very well tracked. It's just like, I don't know, help Brother Muris. And then if you kind of forget what step you're on or where you need to go, you're kind of screwed because there's no, <laughs> there's no, like, prompts to remind you. Uh, and moreover, there's no, no tracker for, uh, no, so those guys, they make those scary noises, I don't think those count as hammer ons I think it's just the ones with the chains, the ones that make the chain sounds. I'm pretty sure, so... some of those back in here, which is somewhere I really don't want to be, but I wonder if we can get this guy. Any hammer 
wants to patrol out this way. I just don't want to get stuck in tight spaces with zombies, because that never ends well. But... You know, I think we might have done it, actually. Oh, zombie. I can't remember if we can use this holy water fountain to, uh... Supercharge our arrows. There's one that patrols up there, but I think that's the one that we smacked earlier. You know what? Let's... Oh, really? He saw us. I kind of thought he didn't. Let's go see if Brother Muris is satisfied, okay? Are you quite satisfied? I think we got the hammer haunts that are everywhere else in the level. I know we smacked a lot of them in previous previous episodes so maybe just maybe Miris will be satisfied there he is let's see what he says thou hast been a great oh. sweet friend and I owe thee great thanks I wish I could give thee the key to the cloister gate but that is long lost take this key instead it opens the armory in the attic. There it is. something up there that a crafty person like thee will find useful. I go now to my rest. Once again, I thank thee. Rest well, Brother Muris. Holy crap. What a guy. What a guy. Okay. Now, we have the key that door in the attic do you remember in the first episode I was puzzling over a locked door in the attic that was a long time ago it was like probably 8 months ago or something in that episode um, but yeah there's a reinforced door in the attic that I was puzzling over and this this is what is going to get us in there and that door I believe, pretty darn sure, has explosives behind it. But we'll find out. We will find out. This jerk again. And I'll probably run into some zombies doing this, but... Or maybe not. Wow, we got lucky. And there it is. Okay. Ta da. Let's pull out that attic key, armory key. And inside, this terribly textured looking thing. Let's rub an explosive charge. Okay, also, what might be some instructions? Beware. This object is a powerful explosive device. Only authorized demolitions personnel should employ it. Place close to the target gate or portcullis. Trigger the device with fire. Take adequate cover before detonating. Note, the explosion is not of sufficient power to destroy walls. Be sure to target gates and other weak structures. Bingo. Alright, so we've got the explosive. We've got the fire arrow to ignite the thing. And we know exactly where to use it. So uh, let's blow this popsicle stand. I am so ready to be done with this level. 
it, let me tell you. Okay. There we go, there we go. Okay, alright. Oh, you jerk. You jerk. Is he gonna see us? lucky. All these zombies should. Okay, here we are. Let's quick save. Ta-da. Just in case we screw this up somehow. Uh, explosive charge. Place it right here. Fire arrows. Save again, just in case something terrible happens. <laughs> there it is. And out we go. Oh, you have your precious eye. What do you hope to do with me? What do we hope to do with the eye, indeed? Well, we shall find out. We finished Return to the Cathedral, and, uh, you know, that did take a bit longer than I thought it was going to take, but that's still a fairly short episode by the episode standards. Usually these are sort of an hour to an hour and a half, and I don't think we've got that far yet, so, uh, but should we start another one? <laughs> I want to, I want to reward you guys for being so patient, um, but then we're gonna have a really short episode to start the next level. I think I'm gonna have to call it here. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm sorry. I really wanted to do a double episode this time, but, uh, this one did take longer than I thought it was going to, and I think we're probably getting pretty close to an hour here if I had to guess, so... Um, and I'd, I'd rather just cut it off here, and, uh, rather than try and start it another episode right now, and then have that one be really short. That doesn't seem good, so, um, but I will, of course, as I always do, promise that I, or at least, I don't want to say promise, I will try, <laughs> I will, uh, state that I will try to get the next episode out sooner rather than later. You guys are so, so patient, as I always say, and I deeply, deeply appreciate it. Uh, you taffers are wonderful. Um, I love that you are just so passionate about this series, as I am, and um, your patience is, is legendary. So thank you again for all the reminders that it was time for a new episode of Thief, as always. Thank you again for your patience, and thank you for being awesome. And uh, coming on this adventure with me, it's, uh, it always brings me joy. And I hope that it brings uh, you joy as well as relaxation. So thank you again, friends, uh, for joining me today. And I look forward to having you back here next time. Farewell for now.